Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, I have a very special guest. I know that a lot of you are requesting uh, videos for, you know, older women, uh, women who have been aging beautifully, meaning without any interventions. Someone that is in their 60s, someone that is in even in their 70s. A lot of you requested that. So, Today's guest is a very, very special person. She's a beautiful woman in her 60s. I have succeeded to convince her to be in front of the camera because you know what? It's not easy to be seen by people all over the world and then be judged uh, by the way we look. So please welcome Paki. Let me introduce you to Paki right here. Thank you so much for coming. Paki does not speak English, uh, but she speaks uh, French and Spanish. Parce que vous êtes en fait espagnol. Oui. She's uh, Spanish. Oui. Uh, vous êtes née où? En Andalusie. Andalusie? Oui. Ah, <laughs> c'est trop joli là-bas. Il fait très chaud le. Où des trois des Gibraltar exactement? <laughs> <laughs> Now. In my opinion, I think that Paki right here, she looks very much like the actress that maybe a lot of you know from the role that she had in Emily in Paris. Her character name was Sylvie. Uh, the actress name is Philippine Leroy Beaulieu. I think that she looks very, very much like her. So I am waiting for you to write in the comments. Let me know if you think the same. Now we are going to do a very, very natural makeup look, something that will enhance her beautiful skin and her beautiful smile. Let's just get into it. I'm going to start with the cleanser from Tata Harper. I love Tata Harper recently started to use this. This is the cleanser that you're supposed to apply on um, dry skin. Massage it and then rinse it with a little bit of warm water. I have to say that Paki has the softest skin. Now I'm going to take two cotton towels that I've put in the warm water and I'm going to remove everything. Get a little bit of makeup on. This is the Concentrated Brightening Serum. It's a tone correcting solution. She doesn't really need it. She has very, very little discoloration on uh, the sides of her cheeks. Honestly, I wish my skin looked as good as hers. J'adore ton peau. Merci. C'est tellement joli. Qu'est-ce que tu utilises par, euh, tous les jours pour la peau comme crème? Le soin, je suis intéressée. Là, j'utilise le, le sérum, et, euh, le sérum Guerlain, et puis le, la crème... Lequel Guerlain le, le bleu le, Non, non, le... Ah, Abbé, Abbé Royal Oui. Ah, je sais, il est très léger. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. J'ai utilisé le Clarence, tout la gamme Clarence. Je l'ai fait beaucoup d'années, Clarence. Et, et, et là, j'ai testé celle-ci, donc ça me convient. C'est impressionnant votre peau. Oh, ah bon? Ouais. C'est vraiment Merci. impressionnant. Now I'm going to use the illuminating eye cream, and you will see this truly highlights the under eyes. She doesn't have dark circles. She has a little bit of um, crevice under the eyes. So she's very lucky. Okay, the serum feels so incredibly nice on her skin, almost like a moisturizer. It does not feel like a like a serum. Typically, the serums are humectants, meaning that they would absorb, they would keep the water in your skin, but then they're not necessarily hydrating. That's why after serum we use moisturizers. But this serum feels incredibly hydrating on her. Est Elle est très agréable. Très, très agréable, non? Ah, je sens ma peau. Next, I'll be using the Illuminating Moisturizer. And let me tell you, this is like, I don't know if you can see, it has a little bit of tint to it. 
so beautiful, especially if you like a super lightweight, illuminating, or like very light moisturizer, this is it. I can definitely say that you could apply this if you have oily skin, if you have normal skin. I absolutely love this product. It's just a little bit more. This is a type of moisturizer that if you don't want to use anything else for your complexion, this would be enough. It gives you the pearly finish skin. Agréable, wow. Une sensation de bien-être en plus. Je ne sais pas s'il y a d'odeur ou pas. Un peu euh, naturel, comme tu sais, comme les... Comme les voilà, exactement. Next is this lip treatment from Tata Harper. And I'm going to go straight with the bullet. Always apply your lip balm or your lip mask at the beginning of the makeup. By the time you get to the lips, to the lipstick application, they're going to be very hydrated. Next is Shantikai Anti-Aging Face Tint. This is like a hero product. I am telling you guys, if you love a product that is not a tinted moisturizer, it's more like, you know the name is, is really a, an appropriate name. It's just a face, it's a skin tint so beautiful like you're applying silk on your skin the only thing that i have to say i do not enjoy about this is the packaging i hate packaging where you know is open like this i have to take it with a spatula first and then you know put it on the face and uh but other than that the product is absolutely insane I've taken a lot of product but i wanted to show you this at first it looks very dark. You could apply it all over the face, you'll see that it just transforms when I apply it on the skin. You could apply it all over the face, you could mix it with your foundation, you could apply it as a bronzer only on uh, you know, where the skin touches, where the sun touches your skin. It's absolutely gorgeous, this formula. I love it. On her skin, because she uh, she recently came back from Spain, so she's got a beautiful tan. I'm going to apply it all over the face. From time to time, you guys are probably going to hear my boy. Because he's a big boy now and he makes a lot of noise. This is definitely the type of product that I would apply it with a brush. I take it down the neck, right under the neck, because in here there's always shadow. The sun never touches that part of our face. That's where we are normally lighter. Oh, I love this product on her. This is light as air. If you're looking for something that's super, super light, strongly recommend you this product. But use less skincare if you have combination skin or oily skin because it's quite hydrating. Perfect. Next is Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This is in number 33. And the reason why I'm using this concealer is because this is one of the few concealers on the market that I believe you don't necessarily have to powder. It's super beautiful, self-setting, and uh, every time I am doing um, makeup on someone that is more like in her 60s or her 70s even, I would, I would definitely apply this because it's very, very lightweight, super creamy. And like I said, it, it, it will not crease. C'est très très joli. C'est un uh, concealer. Because this is slightly lighter, I'm going to use it also as a highlighter. So just a touch on 
the chin, a touch on the forehead. All right, I'm going to take this cream bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. This looks a little bit too dark, but I'm, I'm gonna try it. So for her, I'm not gonna sculpt, I'm not gonna uh, contour. I am literally going to work with the shadows and a light, but not very harsh. I think that at a certain age when you contour, it just gives you very harsh lines on the face. I thought this was going to be a little bit too dark, but it's actually perfect for her. This bronzer from Charlotte. Now I will take a little bit of the bronzer and apply it right here. This is a Refer 19 brush. C'était produit miracle. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be using this cream blush from Tata Harper. The color I'm using is Naughty. I love this even uh, on myself. I think that this is like the color of healthy looking cheeks. Taking a synthetic brush. And on her, I will apply it as high as possible, like almost right under the eye. So it lifts the cheeks. Also, I feel like the, her bone structures dictates, you know, where to apply the blush. And for her, it's, I think it's right here. It would give her that youthful look, fresh look. So right under the eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, if you feel that you have been going overboard with, uh, let's just say, your bronzer or your blush, always have your uh, foundation or your concealer brush uh, nearby just for little, um, little touch-ups. That's the reason why I always tell you, keep your foundation brush for foundation. Have another brush for the colorful product because it will help you have... Uh, the foundation brush to do all these small corrections. Next, this Westman Atelier powder. I absolutely love this. I had to take it from my kit. Uh, I don't really use it on myself because, like I said, it's in my kit. I don't want to ever forget it at home when I have a job because I absolutely love this. It's invisible on the skin. So first I'm checking to see if the product creased, it did not. This concealer, I'm telling you, it's amazing. And then I take the powder, set the concealer, take a little bit of the shine where it's a bit too much like on the forehead. But what I love about this powder is that it will not dry out your skin. It will not make your skin look dry. It will just Take a little bit the shine away. It will make, I mean, look at this. It diminishes the pore. I absolutely love it. It's the type of powder that if you have a peach fuzz, it will not emphasize the peach fuzz. You know what I mean. If you have peach fuzz and you've been using powder, you know that it will emphasize that. Well, not with this powder. It's just so incredibly soft. Then a thin layer I like to apply on the cheeks. This is honestly because I've applied so many hydrating products and her hair is down and I don't want her hair, you know, when she goes out to be sticking to the skin. You know, when the skin is too hydrating, it, too hydrating, it can do that and I absolutely hate it when that happens on me. So I do a very, very thin layer on clients always everywhere with this powder. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo. 
and you could buy this individual but i love this palette for makeup artists because it has absolutely every color on her i will start with powder and then we're going to move on with another product but honestly i think that with her i could even use auburn and the reason why I'm using Auburn is because it has a little bit of um, that warm tone to it. And maybe you're going to be surprised by the decision, but I, I really think that it's, uh, it's the best color on her. This is the brush 7B from Anastasia Beverly Hills, in my opinion. There is no better brush for applying powder product in the eyebrows than this. At the beginning of eyebrows, I will take the color caramel because it's lighter and it will have more like the color of her hair right here in the front. What a difference eyebrows create on the face. Absolutely love filling in the eyebrows. Next, I will take the Glossier Brow Flick. This is in blonde, just to create hair like strokes. Um, next is a little bit of 24 hour brow setter. She's got pretty short um, eyebrows. So I don't think they're going to necessarily move, but the reason why I'm using this is because it gives it gives dimension. On Paki, you can see that the eyes are a little bit different, which is completely normal, and we all have this. Here she has a little bit of fold right on the middle of the eyelid, and here the eyelid goes completely smooth. So you have to, when you're doing the eyes, if you have the same problem, you have to completely ignore this. So basically when you're doing the makeup, let me show you, I'm going to apply this uh, base from uh, Laura Mercier. So I'm going to lift a little bit the eyelid. This base is a bit too light for her, but we're going to go with something a bit darker on top. We're going to lift it. You don't have to apply a base, but I think that it will prolong your makeup. And especially if you have wrinkles and fine lines, this is very useful. But make sure it's an eyeshadow primer that is very, very thin, else it will just emphasize the, the fine lines. Absolutely love these colors on her. Uh, this is a palette from Dior. I'll take this eyeshadow, get it at the outer corner. These are not fully matte. They have a very, very nice finish. And I will apply it at the outer corner and in the crease. I gently hold the eyebrow like this. It will lift it slightly. And then I also hold it from the end of the eye. So the skin is slightly tighter and it's just easier to blend. And apply the eyeshadow on your original crease, which for her is higher. Basically you can uh, feel where the crease is in, in case you don't know it, you touch your eye and right under the bone right here, that's where your crease is. The brush sort of guides you back and forth motions and I'm going to take this color right here and apply it on the mobile lid beautiful sunset color this is the color of the sunset I keep adding that darker color at the outer corner. I'll take the darkest color 
in the palette. Just a little bit of that darker eyeshadow only at the outer corner on the lower lash line. Both our eyes are done with the eyeshadow. I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury, the classic pencil. If you have been following my channel, you know I, I have a tremendous love for this product. I use it on myself, on clients. I think it's a beautiful dark brown. I love to just massage the lashes with this. So I'm not gonna do any flick. Don't think it's necessary. I will just take a pencil brush and make sure this is nicely diffused. Absolutely love it. The eyes are so much more present. We've got mascara and a good tip if you're a makeup artist, instead of using those disposable brushes for mascara, I strongly recommend you to buy mini mascaras like this one. You know, you have Better Than Sex, you, you've got um, the ones from Benefit that I love. MAC, I think, has uh, some mini mascaras. And the reason why you want to do that is because then you gift it to the client. And also, I feel like a lot of times, like 80, 90% of the time, it's the one that makes the mascara, not the mascara itself. So, do this. Your client is going to love you if they receive also something from you. I feel like her lashes are already very, very curled. I don't know if you see them in the video. They're short, but very lifted. I'm gonna use this blush from Tom Ford. This is in the color Eclat Nu, number two Eclat Nu. I think it's very, very pretty color for her. Just an added color on the cheeks. You know how I love to mix cream and powder products. This is something that I like to call finishing powder. I talked about this product many, many times. It's from Sicily and I absolutely love it. On her skin is going to be just a glow. It will not add any color because it's literally very, very similar with the color of her skin. But it's gonna add this beautiful glow. For the lips, I'm going to apply this lip liner from Anastasia. This is in the color Parchment. You know, I love to overline the lips. I don't care your age. If you're coming to me, I would most probably overline the lips. Unless, of course, you've got very, you know, big lips, maybe make an exception then. But I love overlining the lips in a very natural way, I think. Next is this lipstick from Rare Beauty in the color Talented. They wanted something nice and neutral. And on top of it, we're going to apply a beautiful gloss. And on top of it, we're going to apply this Tower 20. This is my absolute favorite, I think. Uh, lip jelly gloss. So comfortable on the lips in the color Coconut. This you could apply it by itself or on top of any lipstick. You will just give life, shine, comfort. Look at this color. Last step is this Melt Makeup. I am loving this hydrating setting spray. I'm telling you, this is a great investment. If they have the small size, try the small size before you commit to a full size one. Love, love, love. This is called Grip Set and Refresh Spray. <laughs> I'm going to take a clean uh, sponge and just press everything together. All right, guys, we've got Pocky right here with the final look. 
I am very happy with the results. I am super excited about this makeup look. I was very happy when she accepted the invitation. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup, Paki. Thank you so much. <laughs> Merci beaucoup pour Merci. Euh, prendre le temps. Vraiment, Merci. vous êtes adorable. Et euh, plutôt un, un maquillage pour faire la fête. Ah oui, on ah. va faire la fête. <laughs> Ah oui, euh, une espagnole bah, qui fait pas la fête. Bah, euh. Exactement. <laughs> Definitely, this is something that I suggest to you for a special occasion. I wouldn't necessarily do this much makeup for everyday look. I mean, who has time? Unless, of course, you do have time and you appreciate mm. makeup, which is totally fine. But I know that most of you would do this for a party, for a special occasion. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye.